welcome back that's week nine of the training plan of the, vid the video log so yeah just come out just finished a little run with with james um just went for a nice loop through the hadley downs up to lee station along the seawall down there and back to his house so yeah nice about eight mile loop i'm just going to do must be another couple just while i'm recording this which would be nice um yeah it's a nice little area to run on really this is kind of like a trail that's been there for a while but they've done a lot to it when they bought the um the bike event over here for and um, the, the olympics so yeah a lot of the races in benfleet um across countries go through here it's always quite challenging it's got some good hills in it nice route so yeah the benfleet 15 passes through here a couple of times kind of loops in go out towards where we've just been where the cows were um then it comes back in um up here uh, some some steepness to it it's a good elevation so used to do a lot of efforts on here uh, in the summer when i first joined benfleet before we hit the track but yeah it's good so week eight is up on um on youtube so check it out let me know what you think um it was a little bit of a kind of lower intensity week in regards to speed and pace but it was a good week nonetheless another strong one consistently getting there 75 miles so yeah hope to get back the same this time have a good week good afternoon welcome back so yeah it's tuesday um similar to last week i've actually moved the uh, effort session um to wednesday i'm just giving myself a couple of days after the long run at the moment um before i go into yeah wednesday's effort session um and then i've actually got a couple of uh thursday and friday and saturday i think are even like you know just easy recovery days and then i've got quite a hard um i suppose like interval fart leg um long run on sunday so that should be good hopefully the lads can join me for that one um yeah so today i'm just going around 7 30 pace uh it's about a minute and a half um or over a minute and a half slower than marathon pace but yeah just it's really hot today really humid um but i wanted to to take it off road a little bit um yeah helps for, um strengthen those leg muscles in different areas like i said before um and plus it's just nice views out here um sometimes it's better than going around the roads and stopping on the pavements and stuff so yeah lucky to have um, the seawall out here the the loop of it around um is usually about six miles so i can just add a little bit more um getting back to the house so yeah probably be about nine miles nine and a half miles today which just should be good so yeah just want to talk a little bit about you know um i suppose shoes that i use um i'm a little bit of a a nike fanboy i must admit um only because you kind of put once you start running some trainers and you get used to them and um you can feel the quality um you kind of then put a lot of trust into to that brand and it's weird you just kind of stick with it it's like you know your favorite food or your favorite drink you kind of stick with it and sometimes you don't you don't try something else and because you know that you can you're getting a good performance out there and a reputable brand from uh, so yeah i kind of mix up i probably got about three four trainers going on at the moment which i rotate shoe rotation is good because it works different muscles groups when you're running um you know it puts you onto different uh position in your foot uh, the cushioning's different but yeah you can kind of use it on different terrains um so you know i've got a track that i use on the on the track sorry a shoe that i use on the track which is a streak but that's you know you've got minimal um cushion in there so that's just good for those flatter grounds and and just consistent pacing um without any undulations or any rough ground so and then i use these infinity reacts i told you these are these are a new pair that i got use these for kind of an everyday run i've you know quite a big fan of these ones they're really um yeah they're so comfortable um i like the wide toe box um 
I know it's only a small thing, but I like, I've done them up, and they're tight enough, I can just slip them on and off. <laughs> it's, I know it's lazy, but it's just one of those things where you kind of look at the shoes in your cupboard and you just go, oh, I can just slip them on, go for a run, out the door, done. Um, so yeah, I've got these, I've got the Turbo 2s, which I kind of generally use for longer tempo stuff. Um, I've actually still got a pair of vapor flies, which I use for long marathon sessions. Uh, they've got about 700 miles in them, um, but you know, they've still got the pop. Not as much as the you know the the new ones, but they, it's still there and the cushioning's there and you've got that 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 zoom foam. So um, yeah, those are the ones I'm moment. So yeah, the turbos, the streaks, these Infinity Reacts, um, yeah, and the Vaporfly. So yeah, a good combination. Like I say, it's good to mix it up because you kind of work in different muscle groups in your legs. So they're the ones I use. Um, I do like to try some different ones when it when they come out. So see what uh, maybe Nike or some of the other uh, companies can bring out and I'll give them a go. All right, I uh, hope you have a good day. See you later. Hello and welcome back. Yeah, so it's Wednesday, workout Wednesday. So I've just finished my um, session. So yeah, it was a tough one, a uh, long one in the end. So I think it worked out to be about 14 miles. Um, so I averaged about 5.57 or something like that for the whole, including um, recoveries and warm, warm up and cool down. So yeah, really happy with the average pace, and but most of all happy with how the sets went. So yeah, it was um, a 20 minute, uh, well sorry, one minute, uh, one mile warm up, then 20 minutes at marathon pace or target marathon pace, two minute recovery, and then I went into four sets of five minutes at around um, half marathon pace, and then a two minute recovery between those, and then after that back into a 20 minute um, tempo at uh, marathon pace so yeah to be honest I kind of went a bit off a bit quick as I normally do um, but managed to keep the cut pace um, at around 5.45 then went into the sets of uh, four or five minutes and managed to keep around 5.25 so quicker than expected um, but yeah just try to keep those consistent which they were so that's great a um, bit worried when I went back into the, to the 20 minutes that, um, well, about halfway through that, I wanted to stop. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, feeling really fatigued, but I thought, well, this is what it's like, going to be like on marathon day when I'm still trying to hit that 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 pace that I'm, I'm looking for right at the end. Um, maybe if I've gone a little bit fast or, you know, you're trying to really replicate how it's going to be and how you're going to feel on marathon day. So I dug deep. Um, and continue to keep the pace uh, nice and consistent and then actually because it was I kind of did it's about 20 minutes is about well it's just over three and a half, three miles so once I'd done three miles I then had about two and a half minutes two and a half minutes left and I managed to kick it in a little bit quicker um, so down to about two five forty five thirty five ish pace so yeah I mean kept it all consistent so I'm really happy with that and actually kept it under what the goal pace I was kind of going for. So yeah, that's been a really good confidence booster. I was worried about it. I'm always worried going into sessions. I don't know why I get a bit nervous and kind of sit there during the day thinking, oh, I wonder how it's gonna go. But yeah, the legs felt good after yesterday uh, and the day before just having a bit of a recovery after the 24 miler. So yeah, happy with that. Um, I'm gonna be doing probably rest or recovery runs for the rest of the week because I've got um, a similar type tempo uh, session mixed paces on Sunday's long run which is going to be about 35k but it's mixed up with 10k's worth of marathon pace 10k easy and 5k's at different paces so it's a it's a good variety um, yeah hopefully the lads are up for that but yeah I went a bit bright today <laughs> we're trying out these uh, the new um, these new Nike socks I got on with the vapor flies um, yeah I've still needed to get hold of some of these um, alphas and some of the uh, next percents for race day really um, yeah hoping they come out Saturday I'm gonna be able to get up here um, I'll probably let you know on Sunday if I've got some or not fingers crossed uh, be good if I can but yeah take care hello and welcome back it's a Friday um, I'm just out with Finley he's fast asleep uh, for a buggy run just local um, easy paced um, kind of run around for myself about 7.15 something like that um, so after 
Wednesday's tough long session. Um, I'm taking like three days recovery easy before Sunday. So it's kind of more focusing on the last two final efforts this week. Um, oh sorry, just two efforts this week to get in. Um, I think looking at it, they're more about kind of boosting the marathon pace confidence and how you're going to feel uh, on race day, trying to simulate the fatigue. But yeah, so it's been nice just to get out this week without acting, or well, the last couple of days anyway, without having a big plan of, oh, I've got to go and hit this pace, or oh, I've got to hit this session. Sometimes it's nice to chill out and uh, just get out on the roads and just run how you feel. Run to perceived effort and just kind of save that energy in the legs for the, the big ones. The big ones are boosting the confidence at the moment, hopefully. I know that Wednesday certainly did, so that's all good. I'm gonna stop now because it's really windy. I'll go down the last bit of the road. So today's run will probably be about uh, eight and a half miles, something like that. So yeah, just wanted to get around 60 minutes on the feet today. To be honest, I've kept it around the industrial states a bit more because it's nice and flat. And Finley's been a bit of a nightmare this morning. Don't think he had enough sleep. And he's been a bit groggy, so I thought it'd be best to um, keep it flat because it does seem to wake up when I go up and down curbs or uh, yeah, where I have to stop at roads, cars go. So yeah, it wasn't too bad in the industrial estate today or the loop, the couple of loops I've just done. Uh, only a couple of cars I can just get out of the way, but it's just one continuous surface. You know, it's like if you're road running in general, you prefer to row, uh, run on the actual road and the pavements um, because of the up and downs. So it's similar, it's just gonna wake up. So yeah, we're just finishing up now. It's Pizza Friday. So yeah, the addition now since lockdown, Pizza Friday, so I do look forward to that. Nice bit of refueling and chill out with the family later. Uh, hopefully he wakes up in a better mood, <laughs> fingers crossed. So yeah, still haven't heard back from Wrexham. Obviously there was a bit of a, an announcement from good old Boris this week uh, about the reduction in uh, groups, social gatherings more than anything. So yeah, there was an initial panic, I think, from, uh, I suppose, events. Uh, Athletics England released something saying we haven't had a clarification yet. And then I think it was yesterday they just announced that it doesn't affect uh, running events, which is good. Obviously, everybody's just got to kind of uh, follow those COVID, COVID conditions. And every, as, as long as everybody's doing it COVID safe, uh, which you can't really do in social gatherings because no one's really taking responsibility of doing the assessments. So, yeah, hopefully it will continue. And fingers crossed on Monday, Wrexham will get confirmed. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. All right, see you later. Good evening. Welcome back. So it's uh, Saturday, early evening. I've only just had a chance to get out today. Been a busy day with the kids. So yeah, just going for about 45, 50 minutes. Just nice and relaxed. Just off road on the seawall. Um, I don't want to go on the road today just because I don't want to slow myself down you know I don't want to be going quick and then uh, legs are tired for tomorrow so yeah so tomorrow's session with uh, Jack and Scott is about 35k it's about 21 21 and a half miles it's quite a tough one um, I'll talk to you more about that tomorrow after I've finished but yeah fingers crossed it goes well good confidence booster from Wednesday's run and like I say in the, the other couple of uh, videos or clips, I'm just chilling it out for the last three days. Um, so yeah, it's been some kind of running news um, today. Some good, some bad. So I got an email uh, from Wrexham and basically they haven't got the full approvals yet 
unfortunately, which is understandable. Um, there's basically, they need to do a review of a couple of smaller events that are going on um, in the next couple of weeks. And then they'll do another 21 day review, um, which finishes about two days before the planned marathon. So they're gonna be postponing it potentially for two weeks later than it was. Um, but I've just decided that um, the uncertainty for me, I can't book a hotel yet. Um, I can't um, be sure that it's gonna go ahead. And to be honest, at this stage, I don't know if I can add another two weeks. It's gonna be quite complex because I've already started the taper stage of the race, uh, of the plan, approximately. So I'm supposed to be trying to peak for the race, but I can't peak for the race if I've now got to add another two weeks on. So I could do it, but there's quite a lot involved in really strategically thinking about that. And I want to see how this, this plan goes with a taper um, and do it, do it to the book. <clears throat> so I've actually entered Dorney Lake Marathon, which is still on for the 4th of October. Again, there's always going to be an uncertainty there, but it's closed roads, it's flat. The only problem I've got, um, got with it, potentially going to be very windy, but so could Wrexham. So all I'm going to do is not waste the training and just go for it. Um, Scott's also doing it. So we'll go up there and race together, um, do our own thing. But yeah, fingers crossed that, that works and it goes ahead. Second one, I managed to get myself some alphas ordered, <laughs> alpha flies. Um, I don't know the long name, next percent alpha flies. So yeah, kind of been waiting for them to come out for quite some time. I do want to give them a go. I'm always quite keen to try the latest shoe technology. Uh, like you know, I'm a keen, uh, keen, well, a big fan of Nike. Um, so yeah, I really want to see what these are about. Record breaking shoes. <laughs> but yeah, they might give me a good advantage on the day. Sometimes that can be, you know, mental that someone else has got the shoes that you wish you had and whatever. But you know, I wanted to give them a go. So I'll give a good review on them once I've tried and tested them. And yeah, see how they go. So that was a bit manic this morning, trying to get them. I think they sold out in about five minutes on the Nike app. So good, well done to anyone that's got them. But it was tough, I reckon. Um, luckily, I managed to secure a pair. Fingers crossed they actually come. So yeah, that's the news. Still doing a marathon. Still going to carry it on. I think this video log was kind of part of that decision. I was sitting there this morning with the email going, I'll suck it off. Don't worry about it. But it takes a few people, you know, and they were like, well, you've done the training. You've got the training. Why not go for Dorney? It could be, could be windy there. It could be windy at Brixham. Just adapt your, your kind of race plan accordingly. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome back. So it was Sunday long run with uh, Jack and Scott. So yeah, we just done a, a tough one. The last big marathon session. Um, we've, we've all got three weeks left. Scott, uh, Scott and I are now doing Dorney because I signed up um, and Jack is slogging it out on his own, battling around Woodham with his own virtual marathon. So yeah, he's gonna, gonna smash that. So yeah, we've just done, so it's 10K easy, uh, 10K then at marathon pace. Um, then we add 5K easy, then 5K quicker than marathon pace. Then it was 1K easy, 2K hard, and now we're just about to go for the 1K easy, which we're all looking forward to, but I don't know how the legs are gonna wake up. So yeah, it went well. Um, the the, uh, the route was up and down, uh, a bit undulating, but obviously that kind of, you, you, the effort's there, the marathon pace and quicker's there in effort. So we just kind of, you know, the, the pace fluctuates a little bit, but yeah, we've done good. 
Didn't we, guys? Yeah. <laughs> so happy with that. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to finish on about 21 miles, I reckon, when we finally get back home. Yeah, yeah nice recovery. Big breakfast. And then, uh, yeah, we can all start the uh, taper week, three weeks from now, race day. So we've all got the uh, Alpha Flies on order. Yeah. So hopefully they're coming next week. Maybe we'll give them a test out and, uh, yeah, we'll let you guys know what we think. All right, see you later. <laughs>